Hey, this is Duncan McPherson with Pareto Systems from the field. I'm actually at Mission Hill, a world-class vineyard in Kelowna, with my wife and some friends getting ready to watch Cheryl Crow perform. And uh, while we've got immense anticipation for this show, around us there's a lot of apprehension because you might be able to see behind me there is a forest fire raging just across the lake. And uh, I mean, it's that time of year, nature doing its thing. and this really stands out because my wife and I just got back from California and we also had the opportunity to see Seal in concert at the Hollywood Bowl and not far from there there are forest fires raging and of course it just reminds us to have deep gratitude for all of the many blessings we've got happening in our lives and uh, you know it's interesting it's a study in contrast but uh, today I was talking to a client of ours who's working through our blue square method process. And I asked him about his clients and what are the qualities of his favorite clients. And he didn't talk anything about business and the alignment around assets and profitability. He talked about their personality traits and he talked about how respectful they are of the team's value and the people and how much gratitude these clients have for their accomplishments. And while they still have ambition, that aspiration is fueled by their appreciation. And it got me thinking, uh, because I actually said to him, I said, you know, you've already got a phenomenal business. You don't need us, you don't need coaching. I mean, there's nothing wrong, nothing's broken. We're not trying to fix something. And uh, it just gave us a window on the mindset, because I've been saying for years that the People who like us the most need us the least. I mean, it's so true. But he, he took it to athletics. And he talked about uh, how all of the athletes he really admires also have coaches. They're at the pinnacle of accomplishment in their fields. And yet they still have coaches. And he was referring especially to the British Open uh, that's taking place in Carnoustie. And he was looking at these golfers uh, and watching some of their warm-up rituals and there are their coaches these are the top performers in their field and yet they don't believe their own hype and he just used that as an analogy for himself he said I I've got more to accomplish I can't do it on my own and uh, that really says something and then I just happened to cross an article about uh, Johnny Vegas uh, a golfer from Venezuela. He lives in Houston now. But uh, it was incredible because as he was ready to depart for the British Open, uh, he realized his visa was expired. So he tried to get a new visa and there were complications in getting it. And then the flights got complicated. He had to end up flying through Toronto, which is interesting because he's actually won the Canadian Open at least once. But he ended up arriving uh, at the golf course 90 minutes before his tee time. So instead of several days, he got there 90 minutes. And it took heroic efforts by his team to get him there. He had 20 practice shots. And the airline lost his golf clubs. So somebody in his team had to find him a set of golf clubs. And yet he still played a decent opening round. And I was watching part of the interview uh, afterwards. Zero self-importance, zero complaining, big smile on his face, and uh, very philosophical about the whole ordeal. And essentially what he's projecting is, I get to golf. This is my job. I mean, I've won the lottery. And uh, that says a lot. So anyway, I hope you're having a great day. This is Duncan McPherson with Pareto Systems from the field. <laughs> Savor your accomplishments, have immense gratitude, and uh, keep aspiring to what's next. Until next time, make it a great day. <laughs>